Hello and welcome to Sarah's Tarot. Here is your weekend guidance for the 1st, 2nd and 3rd of March. And I have the two Rider Waite decks for you to choose from. The Vintage Rider Waite and the Winter Weight. If you decide which you feel drawn to, I'll shuffle the cards and we'll see what's coming up for you this weekend. Okay, so we'll start with deck one. So, I cannot believe it's March. I know I always say this, but it just, I don't know, the time flies by so quickly. Um, and we're now heading towards spring, which is lovely. The daffodils are out in my garden and it's just such a nice feeling. Although I do like winter in many respects, it's wonderful when spring um, is around the corner, isn't it? It's just something to look forward to. The blossom on the trees and the air that we breathe is different. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling. It's almost as if every, everyone and everything is waking up, isn't it? yeah so let's see what's coming up for you this weekend and if you haven't subscribed yet you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so let's start with friday okay so friday we have the <clears throat> actually we have to put those there friday we have the ten of wands and the four of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a lot going on on Friday, isn't there? If you look at this Ten of Wands here, um, you are clearly very busy on Friday. Um, there, you, you do seem to have had a lot on your plate lately, and by Friday it may feel as if um, enough is enough, really. You could be feeling quite exhausted and as if you cannot take on much more really for some of you you may be at the end of your tether perhaps it's been a tough week and that's the feeling I'm getting um, and this card is urging you to draw the line on Friday and realize that you're only human you know you're carrying a lot on your shoulders especially for those of you who are working some of you are working and going home and doing, doing stuff at home. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of responsibility and weight here. And some of it you need to kind of delegate, I feel. I don't feel you're getting enough help. And Friday is a day where you could be in danger of snapping and sort of saying, right, that's it, I've had enough. I need some help. So... Before you get to that point, perhaps it's good to have a think about what you can delegate and who can help you. You have this Four of Pentacles as well for Friday. Um, and the Four of Pentacles is a card of, of survival. It's a card of perhaps being on the defensive, you know. Um, it can indicate a period of struggle or uncertainty and maybe that's why you've got so much going on. Maybe you're afraid to say no to something or to someone um, and it's it's like you want to just push through and get things done. But there is a breaking point for everyone and that, that tends to be when this card comes out, you know, that you now need to... Realise that no matter what you've got going on, no matter what the struggles are, and if they're financial as well or practical, everyone needs help sometimes. Um, and I feel as if in a way some of you may be resistant to this help. Um, and also I want to say with these two cards that sometimes we get stuck in a routine or a way of doing things and we get a little stubborn about how we like to do that. And it's like you're not really budging. 
Um, so on Friday, try to be a bit more flexible with how you approach life and how you approach these tasks, okay? Um, you know, there, there is an easier way of doing things. No, no matter how many years or months or weeks you've been doing it in a certain way, sometimes there's a need for change when it all gets a bit too much. And that's the energy for Friday. Okay, so let's have a look at Saturday's energy. What's coming in for you on Saturday? Oh, the lovely Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, well, so some of you on Saturday may be taking this struggle into, uh, come, taking the struggle from Friday into the weekend. Um, and, you know, the Five of Pentacles can indicate that you haven't really been feeling yourself recently. Perhaps some of you, it's a question of your self-esteem. For others, it, it, there may have been financial struggles going on um, in, in, in some way. But there, there's, there's this, this feeling of hardship here on Saturday. And look, you've got this Ace of Cups. So... It's not, it's not all bad, you know. Um, the Ace of Cups is is a first and foremost a wonderful new beginning. Um, so, what I feel for Saturday is whatever's happening for you at the moment, it's it's almost like it's a blessing in disguise. Okay, um, you may not see it yet, but I feel it is, and this Ace of Cups is a wonderful offer, an open-hearted offer, an opportunity as well for you to change your current circumstances, okay? But you need to trust the universe on Saturday and realise that they're stepping in here and offering you this lifeline. That's what I feel is coming in, a lifeline that really could change your circumstances. And for some of you, you may not see it, as such but it will be a blessing in disguise okay so that's saturday let's have a look at sunday sunday you have the devil card and the king of pentacles okay so you're feeling a little bit stuck on sunday a little bit chained a little bit unable to move forward or break free of something or someone could it be this king of pentacles that's making you feel um stuck that's keeping you in this um, predicament that you're feeling um, this king of pentacles relates to earth signs and um, tends to be someone who is um, often the boss so it may be that this is to do with your working environment if not it could be a partnership maybe you're um, involved in a partnership with regard to to money and work you know perhaps you have a business for some of you this may be you this king of pentacles and it doesn't have to be a gentleman if you're an earth sign you know it may be you that feels stuck financially um, and and i did say that actually as we started out on friday that you you felt a bit unable to let go of these responsibilities for fear of, of losing something. There is this fear throughout this weekend's reading of losing something for some people. And it may be a person, but it could very likely be to do with finance because we have, you know, we have three pentacles cards here. So it just, it just, it just uh, speaks of finance and, and resources and being trapped in some way, you know, financially. Uh, and, and some of you may feel beholden to someone someone's holding the purse strings here could be a partner, could be a, a, a boss and therefore you're unable to break free and go out into the world and do what you want but so Sunday, you, you know, you're feeling 
you're really feeling it on Sunday. And one of the messages with this King of Pentacles coming in as well is to say that I feel you need to make a long-term plan with regard to your finances and with regard to getting yourself out of this situation that you're finding yourself in. And this offer coming in has the gives you the opportunity to do just that, but there will need to that you will need to make a plan. This weekend, you know, sit down and really think things through um, with regard to the future and how you are going to sort this situation out and make things easier for yourself. Um, so let's have a look at I have the Healing with the Fairies deck today. So let's have a look at Oh, that's a nice card. Rise above problems. Okay, so the fairies are coming in here and asking you to rise above the problems um, that you are encountering this weekend, okay? They are kind of coming in and sprinkling their fairy dust and bringing in this offer from the universe as well bringing in some magical opportunities and helping you to realize that things aren't as bad as they seem okay so they believe in you they believe that you can deal with whatever situation you're encountering at the moment but as i say it's about um, making a plan for the long term more than anything and that is for those of you drawn to deck one let's have a look at deck two now and for those of you who were drawn to deck two the winter weight deck let's see what's coming for you And if you've not subscribed yet, then you can do so by clicking on the link below. Okay, so we'll start with Friday's cards. Friday, you have the lovely page of pentacles, and the two of swords. So a decision is needing to be made on Friday. This page of pentacles relates to Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now this could be you, it could be someone around you of that sign. Um, and um, this energy is, is young, it's fresh, it's new, but it's also very practical. And I feel that Friday there is a decision that needs to be made. And for some of you, this will be with regard to starting out with something new. Maybe you're thinking of a new job, a new course of study, a new venture. Whatever it is, you need to be looking at all the practical implications and, and, and all looking at a, the long term view. OK, um, there is a need to face up to certain issues as well around this. Now, for some of you, this could be a decision to do with, with one of your children. Um, but whatever it is, um, it's about looking at the practical issues involved. But it's a new beginning. And you may hear about something on Friday as well that kind of pushes you in a certain direction but you'll need to weigh up the pros and cons of starting uh, starting out or, 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 or the pros and cons of this new beginning that you are contemplating on Friday. I feel for many of you actually this is a decision involving someone um, that's either an earth energy or a or a child or teenager. Uh, it's facing up to the reality of, of a situation as well on Friday. So let's have a look on Saturday. Saturday we have the Knight of Swords and the Five of 
ones. So some challenges on Saturday. The Knight of Swords relates to the air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and indicates that someone may be a little volatile on Saturday, a little temperamental. There could be someone argumentative or negative around you on Saturday. And it looks as if you may, they or they may be trying to pull you into a drama of some kind, a battle of some kind. But this five of wands, you know, if you look, they're quite young in, 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 in the card here. They're a bunch of youngsters and it, it's, it's almost like a battle for attention. Perhaps this person wants attention. Who is it around you who, who plays up or, or has tensions? Whoever it is, they, I feel as if this energy is going to rear its ugly head on Saturday. And I feel you, you've been there before with this person. You kind of, you kind of know what they're like. And you're, it will resonate differently for each of you. But whoever this person is, whoever it is that that is so temperamental and and argumentative, steer clear if you can. Don't be drawn into their battles, which seem to be quite petty and unnecessary. You know, um, they have quite a, a, a negative view on certain things and they definitely like making their voice known and it can be easy to argue with this person so steer clear of them if you can so let's have a look at sunday what's coming in for you sunday oh, we use that card as it flew out we have the hierophant and we have the Five of Cups. Hmm. Right, so the Hierophant relates to the sign of Taurus. And Taurus is a traditional um, energy. You know, it's, it's the status quo. It's doing things by the book. Um, and the Hierophant can also relate to institutions. And some of you may be visiting someone in hospital i feel on sunday there could be a hospital visit um some of you may be attending church on sunday or some kind of religious institution and some of you may be going there for healing some of you may be going there because you are grieving um, but I feel there's also there's this link with a person of knowledge a person of spiritual significance and it looks to me as if you'll be getting some spiritual advice on Sunday or perhaps you'll be giving you're the one giving that spiritual advice but there's a spiritual theme and I know you know this has fallen on, su on Sunday of all days which tends to be a spiritual day for many people, if you, you know, if you're Christian anyway. Um, so there is a real spiritual significance to Sunday um, and a need for healing and a need for some advice. And some of you will get that from attending a spiritual centre or um, seeking out someone who is able to advise you in a spiritual way this person has a lot of knowledge and the ability to help you heal, okay? And that is Sunday's, uh, sorry, the weekend's message. So let's have a look at your fairy guidance for the weekend. I love this little deck. It was brought for me by my wonderful friend, Gina. So thank you, Gina. I do love these cards. Let's have a look. I do love fairies as well, actually. Self-reliance, okay, so that's the card you have for this weekend. It's about relying on yourself, all right? Um, relying on yourself when it comes to making decisions. Relying on yourself when it comes to 
dealing with negative people and then maybe it may be more than one person in fact this could even be you losing your temper with someone or, or a group of people okay but it's it's relying on your own yourself you you know realizing you are depend uh, independent um and you can face up to these challenges you can make these decisions and you can go out and seek spiritual help or wise advice from someone and get through get through this sadness that some of you are feeling or, or heal from whatever has upset you or hurt you okay there is healing on sunday um, and the fairies want you to know that you can rely on yourself first and foremost this weekend with whatever you are dealing with and that is your weekend um, guidance please um, like and subscribe and if you'd like to order a reading you can do so uh, through my link below at sarahstarot.co.uk have a lovely weekend Thank you.